start with um, conditional formatting because I know that that's something that not a lot of people use, but it can be really useful. So here I have a room schedule. And if you're doing a lot of planning, right, if you're planning out spaces and you're given a set of criteria by your client, like I need to have offices that are at least this big, right? And a conference room that's at least this big. And you have certain prescribed square footages for your different spaces. You can actually use your schedule to check that your spaces are um, meeting those minimum requirements. So that's what I've done here. So what I have, let me, I'm going to zoom in on this okay is i have this this column here is the actual square footage reported by the area okay and then this is just a a, a parameter where you type in the program square footage so what is the square footage of this room supposed to be based off of the program that my client gave me, right? It, this is the minimum. And then what I've done is over here, I've done a calculated value where I've taken the program square footage, right? Or I've taken the actual and subtracted the programmed. So let's look at the, let's look at that formula. Um, yeah, here. and also that that will answer a question from some someone. Uh, Joe says, "Hi guys, how can we use formulas like Excel in schedules?" Thanks, regards from Tijuana, Mexico. So that yep. so that's calculated values. I'm gonna have you know, a bunch of other uh, formulas. I'm gonna show you here. Right. I have a I have a few other right. ones. Yeah, Joe, that's you the are in part. good hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so this is a simple one, right? It's just taking the area and then subtracting the programmed square footage, right? Now, the thing with ca with calculated values is that it has to be like a greater than or less than sort of thing. It can't be like um, a range <laughs> or you can't say like, and it has to be greater than or less than zero. This is why it's a little bit, and I'll show you what I mean. So that's why like I had to create this calculated value to give me the difference between the actual and the programmed, okay? So I have that. So then when I go to this, um, when I go to my formatting and I go to the name, I think, uh, yes. And I go in here to conditional format. You're going to see that I have the condition is, is if, is if the SF difference is less than zero, make it a color, right? Because see, it's a negative number, which means that my actual is too small. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so um, you could flip it around and say if it's more than, like, however, however you write your formula, you know, but this to me was logical because I took, here's the actual and here's what it needs to be. And if the actual is mm -hmm. too small, then my difference will be negative. And so I want it to show me that it's a color, right? And it's conditional so that if I make this room bigger and it becomes more than 130, then this will go away and this won't color anymore, right? So like as soon as I go in here, so for example, let's say like this, um, this bathroom, right, is supposed to be um, 340. Okay. So as soon as I type that in, it's too, the, the actual is too small. And so it colored it, right? But if I said, well, maybe it only needs to be 300, then now it's not colored. See? So that's the conditional part of the conditional formatting is uh, it's based off of a value. And is a program SF, is it um, a, a shared parameters that you've created for? Uh, no, it's just because it's just a calculated value. It's, okay, it's just a calculated, yeah, kind of an empty value. calculated value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just the one that I made. Because you don't need a whole parameter just for that. No, because, and I need to, um, yeah, and I only needed it for in here mm -hmm. uh, to, to make that formula, mm -hmm. right? So, okay. So yeah. Now, one thing you want to know, right? If you so since um, calculated value parameters are cre are only exist in the schedule that you make them in. So if you want the same calculated value parameter in more than one schedule, you either have to duplicate the schedule to have it, or you have to remake it. You can't pick it from the list of parameters because it only it's made just in the schedule that you make it in. So if you duplicate the schedule, it'll get remade. And if you delete it from your schedule, it'll tell you that you're deleting it because you are, because it only exists in that schedule, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna, so if I you, were you to You mean the program this, SF uh, row, a column? Yeah, so like if I go here and I delete it, it's gonna tell me that it's permanently deleting it 
right? Because it's not like a parameter that I picked from the list. It's mm-hmm. one that I made just in the schedule. And, and if you decided to use it as a parameter instead, could you use it in multiple schedule and uh, kind of preserve the same value? Um, you'd have to, you could either re, yeah, you could, I could go to a different room schedule and make the same mm-hmm. one, or I could duplicate this schedule and then it would already be there. Okay. Yeah. So I just like to, yeah. So, so if you remove it, it deletes it. It doesn't just move it back over here <laughs> like a normal parameter, right? 